Hey guys, it's Octavia J and welcome back to a, another video. So as you can see, I am here in my bathroom. It's been highly requested um, to do a bathroom tour. And so today is going to be the day, you guys. And so I'm actually going to do everything vlog style because it's just going to be easier. And that way I can kind of explain where everything is from, things of that nature, all of the things. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. And so, okay guys, we are gonna start here. Um, you first walk in the door, as you can see, and I just have this one rug here in the bathroom. There are no other rugs here. This one actually is the third rug. The other ones just did not um, hold up well when they were washed. And so this one has been doing so really well. I'm pretty sure I got it from Home Goods. pretty sure. So right here, you guys, which is the wall that is in between the sink and the door is this huge wall clock. You guys probably cannot tell how big this wall clock is, but it's a very nice size. I got it from at home. Um, it was on sale or clearance of some type when I purchased it and it's been a while since I had it. So I can't tell you how much I spent for it, but it, it wasn't much at all. And I just knew, let me see if I can come up a little bit closer. I just knew that this clock was everything that I needed for this space. And right here, you guys, is where we keep our towels. That hook I've had for such a long time, I'm probably sure I got it from one of the Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls type stores. Um, but these towels right here, um, I actually really, really love. I, I, where actually, there is a love-hate relationship with these because um, they leave a lot of lint all over the place and it's just so annoying. But performance-wise, um, I really like them. Really, really like them to the point where I need to order maybe four more because I have six. And I would like to have um, 10 in all. These are from H&M Home. And this lovely piece here is one of the reasons why I wanted to get um, towels like this because I love that hook so that it's the actual towel itself is not being hooked over. So I love that addition. Um, I believe the first time I saw towels like this were in Ikea, um, but you have to be careful with Ikea because some stuff you think it's something that they have all the time and they'll discontinue it and stop selling it. And so if I am correct, if my memory serves me correct, I think the first time I saw towels like this was in Ikea, but I don't see any black ones, but H&M Home, they have the bath towels, which is this really huge size. They have the bath sheets, which are much bigger, washcloths, hand towels, things of that nature. I think these were maybe mm, $12, $15 each, something like that. But you can always catch a good promo or something um, with H&M. So that will always help knock down the price. But performance-wise, I really love how these dry you off and I love how they dry off. These are some really, really good towels. So let me just kind of move up closer. Um, they are actually darker in person. It's just the light that's kind of making them... I don't know, can I? Yeah, that's just making them look 
um, dark, I mean, lighter than they actually are, but they are pretty, pretty black. So, love these. we're gonna move around over here um, to the sink and so this is our one and only bathroom so of course um, not only is it um, decorated it has to be functional as well and I just pretty much kind of left everything where it was I didn't take anything away for the sake of the video um, it kind of is what it is this is how my bathroom is set up. Um, as you can see, our vanity does not have any extra drawers where we can throw um, you know, our toothbrushes in, toothpastes in, things of that nature. So everything does have to sit on top of the sink. But the, the holder and um, soap holder came from home goods and we always keep a hand soap of some sort and so um that is a bath and body works hand soap and that's one of their dispensers um i actually really really love it because it is black and it just goes with the decor and so yeah you guys that is over here to the sink area really you know sweet and simple because as you can see we don't have any we don't have much space at all and so you have to kind of do what you have to do but um this just kind of shows you how you can um decorate and make things look as best as you can while it continues to be functional so this right here you guys is one of the one of my favorite decorative pieces in here next to the clock the clock is one of my favorites but this one is also one of my favorites i kind of didn't know that this was going to be a decorative piece in the bathroom but i found these uh pompous grass at TJ Maxx, this was before um, we moved. And so I have actually two bags. It was, I think, I don't know, was it three or something like that? They came like in a pack, but either way it go, I bought two packs. And then um, this glass vase here is from Ikea. And I just put some um, rocks in there just to give it, you know, just to make it look um you know give it a little extra and so yeah that's what i did um with that i absolutely love this piece this actually gives this bathroom a very earthy and calming vibe absolutely love it And so right here, you guys, is where the one towel bar is. And because we have the hooks and stuff, there's actually no need to um, put any of our used towels or anything here. So I did utilize this towel bar for decoration. And I just simply used a black towel. I remember specifically I got the black and the beige towel from Target. And then um, just to cinch it in, just to give it a little extra, I just grabbed one of these black um, ribbons off one of my Joe Malone boxes and that's that on that super um, simple I didn't want to do too much with it and so that right there was enough for me And then over here, you guys, I wanted to kind of continue on with that, you know, soothing, calming, spa type feel. And so the tray is from Ross. And then these are some white towels um, that I had already had that I brought from that I brought with me from the other unit. And right here is just some hand wash and hand lotions, you know, some cute, you know, little uh, hand wash and lotion pairings that you could find like from um, home goods and then here is um, the diffuser that I have in the bathroom right now I actually accidentally I don't know if you guys can tell but I accidentally threw away the top um, that's supposed to give it like that silver like holding um, piece there but 
it's okay. Probably no one will ever notice except for me. So this is how it looks on top of the toilet. Just, you know, something for a decor because I didn't want to leave it plain because it just, I don't know, it wouldn't set well with me if I didn't do something on top. And so that's how that looks. And over here, you guys, is the shower, the tub. And so my, um, my shower curtain doesn't look its best because I, I wash it all the time. And so it doesn't look brand new like it used to, but it's holding up really well. I'm pretty sure it's from the Threshold brand and I believe it was like 20 or $25. And when I saw this, I knew that it was gonna be perfect um, for my bathroom. As you can see, there are some details on it and the color. I don't know if you guys, how the color is coming off but um, it is very off-white, beigey. It doesn't look like that with the lighting, but it it's 100% perfect for um, the space. And then I have these hooks here, which I remember are from Marshalls, just some black hooks came in in the clutch right when I needed it because I knew I absolutely wanted black um, hooks and for a minute I thought I wasn't gonna find any then I found one at my local Marshalls and absolutely love these very contemporary modern fits the scheme perfectly absolutely love it and so this is just what the this side looks like And over here, you guys, here is my bamboo stand that I purchased from Amazon. I actually had a bamboo stand in mind that I wanted from Ikea, but I said that I wasn't going to purchase it like until I got closer to the time that I was going to move. And when I went back on there, it was gone. And so I rushed to Amazon to find a dupe. And I think I kind of like this one, this stand, just a little bit better because I think it holds more. So on the top is where I keep all of my skincare, all of the things. And so if you guys want a skincare routine, I can absolutely do that for you if you just kind of want to know uh, what my favorite skincare is, what I use in the day, what I use at night. I'll definitely bring um, that video. Um, but this base here is from H&M Home. The larger one is in my bedroom on my dresser. Um, and so this one is a smaller version and the pump is inside is um, from Target and I just cut the stem so that it would fit the vase. Okay, and then um, here are my clean skin towelettes. Um, because I am a product junkie, anything that's intriguing, I'm going for it. And let me tell you, these are absolutely the bomb. I love these. They are double-sided, so one side is a little textured, the other side is smoother. Um, I actually have three boxes under my sink, ready for refill, anytime I'm ready. Um, I wash my face with these. Well, I don't wash my face with these, but you know, when I'm doing the drying and when I'm going from product to product, I'm washing, I'm washing, I'm wiping my hands off and I use it to wipe down the sink and things of that nature. And so I actually have a discount code for these um, clean skin um, towelettes. So I'll definitely leave it across the screen or down in or and in the description box below because I think they are totally worth it if you know the benefits of using a clean towelette as opposed to one of your washcloths that you use on your body parts and that was one of the reasons why um, I started investing in these towelettes because that's all I needed to hear is about the bacteria that kind of 
um, stays in your washcloths and things of that nature. And you have to think about the body parts that you are using your towels on and now even though you probably wash them bleach them sanitize them um you know just the thought of it alone i was just like you know what and i'm gonna try them and i've been using them ever since um i they are easily accessible on the amazon website um, as well as their own um, website and so again i do have a discount code if you guys are interested in the clean skin towelettes and i'll show you guys how they look and they're actually pretty pretty huge and i just keep them in this acrylic case from uh the container store all right and then all of my skincare and then these containers are from target and so down here is just a miscellaneous of things these baskets here are from the container store and so up here is a lot of miscellaneous stuff makeup stuff um motrin like all of those things um mostly in the middle is um, hair products and then the one at the bottom is where we keep all of the toilet you know extra toilet tissue um, wipes and all of those things and then on this side is where all of the towels are housed and so this has been working out um, pretty good um, for this bathroom um, absolutely perfect for the space and it's doing what it needs to do then over here, you guys, some of you may remember this table here from Z Gallery um, I've had for quite a while. I bought it because I thought that I wanted it for my living room, but it just didn't work out. It was too small. It was being drowned. And so I ended up putting it in <coughs> my bathroom at my, my last unit and uh, rightfully so, it fits so well and perfectly here in this bathroom and so this bowl is from target i think it's from the studio mcgee line and then these bowl fillers are also from target here you guys is my other absolute favorite decor piece this wall here from the door to um, the shower I knew I wanted a portrait of some sort up here and it was one of those I'll know when I know when I find it I'll know and so I just patiently every, every now and again when I'll go into home goods you know I'll go over to that section and I'll see what they have and I ran into this one and when I saw it oh my goodness look at the texture I don't know if you guys can see but look at that texture and the way the picture is made, it's like you can either see it as front on face or like a profile. You just kind of have to look at it. I'm absolutely, I am absolutely in love with this piece. You cannot tell me that that piece was not sitting in the store waiting for me with the black and that beige and the texture just fits in so so absolutely wonderfully so okay guys very short and sweet but here is the bathroom it's not real small but it's not super big but it's comfortable and I've never had a bathroom that was like just just super, super small. Never have um, my, all of my bathrooms, even if I just have one. I've had units with two bathrooms, but lately I've just been running into units with just one. But that one um, has always been of a wonderful size. Um, and so when you're in here, you're not um, feeling cramped. You can move around nicely and so I'm giving you guys I 
hope you guys enjoy um, this bathroom tour. Um, forgive me if I don't sound my best. I am still in recuperation mode from being under the weather. That will be explained in another video. But what? But most importantly, I just wanted to make sure um, I got this video out for you guys. For those of you who want some inspiration, who just want to see how I decorate it. I've been in this unit for a year already. And um, this is how my bathroom has looked the entire time. And so I want to thank you all so very much for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.